If it wasn't for St. John's, I may not have found a church community um, where I feel completely comfortable and able to be myself. So many of these places, you know, their message, it, it, I felt like it wasn't exactly what I wanted my kids to hear. And even when people tried really hard, I would always feel judged just because at the end of the day, what they were saying from the pulpit was not, did not make me comfortable. Wherever I was going to bring my kids is the thought of them being in a youth program, putting on a Christmas concert and my brother and his husband showing up and them not feeling comfortable. I wanted to bring my brother back into um, the fold. Again, it not religious fold necessarily because we came from an upbringing where religion was really just a tool used to control you and beat you down and make you feel bad about yourself and he was at a place where he needed community and I knew I needed community but without unfortunately all the trimmings that a lot of mainstream churches so much of the Bible is based on interpretation, but what you absolutely cannot misinterpret is that we are supposed to love and care for ourselves and each other. And that is something that I feel really like my kids take away every single time that they come here. When we first visited, um, when we were in college, and Jason was coming out, and we both went to the Gospel of Inclusion class, and you know. Then I had loved it, it's, and I probably should have never left, but we moved and life started and I started having kids, and again, it had always been a plan to get involved in a church again. It's just, I could never quite feel comfortable in the spaces that were provided in close to home. That very first Sunday, uh, Pastor Vance gave us, I think, a tour of the pantry because I looked in and said, oh my goodness, I can't believe you're going to do this. I'm so excited. And it was a really easy way. I mean, they, I said I was interested and they had a place for me right there. And the next thing you know, the next week I was showing up every Wednesday morning and when I could and being a volunteer. There's never enough people for the amount of work that we want to be able to do because we have big goals and dreams and every corner we turn, there's somebody need something and we don't we try to never deny that to anybody from the smallest request of a pair of sweatpants to our meal kits to just a conversation and a cup of coffee or a nice word and a hug we are there to provide it. I learn from being here every single day uh, just about the needs that are out there about people's struggles, you get a completely different side of the story, a completely different side of the narrative when you're working um, with this community, you're hearing personal stories, personal tragedies. It really helps you to put your